Welcome back folks to Brief All The Longest Journey. Now, I would like to take the time to make one of those shout shout out thingamajigs that people keep uh, talking about. And this one is for Matthias12, th uh, another let's player. Uh, he did Alone in the Dark 1 and 2, the, uh, the original, the, the old ones. Way, uh, great ones. I helped him um, find uh, the English version of uh, Alone in the Dark uh, 3. And um, my shout out would be an, uh, a kind of a. Well, let me explain his situation first. He has uh, traveled to Asbestos City or whatever. Um, and he's going to be there until September because of something 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 and um, before he went well after he went after he arrived he realized that he has had forgot to pack his laptop and his mobile phone so he couldn't make any videos for YouTube he couldn't do his alone in the dark 3 um, let's play which he was really psyched about and I was too, because I wanted to see it. Uh, so, after a couple of days, I just uh, wrote with him on uh, Messenger, and he said that his sister had sent his laptop to him. Well, whoop de diddly dee! Amazing. An amazingly nice sister he has to send his laptop to him. So now the poor bastard could do uh, can can do videos and he doesn't have to be on her mother uh, his mother's dinosaur of <laughs> an old PC which doesn't have any audio because the speakers are too old or whatever another bummer so uh, now he has his laptop back now he gets a call from back home he has to travel back home now so the poor bastard is. <laughs> <laughs> it really sucks for him right now. So, uh, a chin up from me to you. I hope uh, that everything works out and you can get back to work as soon as possible so we can uh, see that Alone in the Dark 3 uh, let's play. And I hope to do a cameo uh, on one of those videos as well. So, with that aside, um, took up a little more time than I haven't prepared any of this this uh, just over the top of my head so now I tried uh, tried that and let's get back into the talkity talk all right so I'm interested in finding out where he's been or uh, time to head out so let's first take a little deeper see where he uh, he's been so you've been traveling for the past decade I have and I intend to keep traveling for the next decade or two, as long as I have my health. This world is fascinating. You look so much better since the last time I met you. Younger, healthier, happier. I do feel fantastic. I was bitter and angry back then. You're angry drunk. at myself at being Very stuck drunk. in this world. Now I don't see Arcadia as a prison anymore. I see it as an opportunity to grow and learn and experience. And I'd forgotten why I crossed the divide in the first place. I wanted to go where few had gone, where there were still untrodden paths. Losing my home, being forced to run, it was certainly an awakening, and one I sorely needed. It was good seeing you again. Are you staying long? Another week, perhaps. Enough time to visit friends and uh, pick up some things that I can't get elsewhere in this world. Then it's off to sea again. I've been thinking about heading east, perhaps convincing a whale rider to take me along on a hunt. Sounds exciting. Take care, Brian. And you, Ms. Ryan? April. Now, I have business with the innkeeper. Oh, late night booty call. So, how about it, Ben Rime? Do you have a cup or four of your mulled wine to spare for an old drunkard? As I remember it, Westhouse, you still owe me money on your tab from before the war. Ah, uh, <laughs> burn. God. You have the memory of a stick man. 
Miss Salmon, I've honestly missed this place. Hell, you're probably right. I owed a lot of people money back then. Uh, seeing as I'm still a bit short on cash, you'll have to add this to my tab. But I'm coming into some gold tomorrow. Old debts repaid, so uh, I'll settle it then. That'll be the day the Azadi decide to just up and leave. Money first. Mold wine after. Ah, uh, the waterworks are uh, close. I respect that. Ah, uh, I, I have to tell you about this tavern I visited in a town near Altaban. That's our cue to leave. So somehow we need to get to the Dark People's City. And uh, as you probably remember from uh, the first video, if you saw the let's play or played the game, the first one, they are very secretive and th their library, which has a lot of information. Ooh. Random guy, let's talk to him. What can Steam technology do for you? The question you should be asking is what can it do? And the answer is nothing. The, um, the dark people are very secretive and the library contains a great deal of information, but it's closed off. Uh, from, uh, it's not a public library. Let's, let's put it that way. Hmm. He looks like I'm supposed to talk to him. Conditions in the ghetto are bad. All things considered, we got food and water, and there's medicine and herbs for everyone. What we don't have is freedom. Yeah, well, chin up, dude, chin up. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the ghetto, the uh, magic ghetto. This is where all the magical people of Arcadia has been, well, of Mercuria. Potions. Herbs, All of the magic cookies, performing everything a wizard races or are being may require, using put in here. Yeah, well, you saw the other videos, you know. Blatters, rat tails, done. Yeah, done, because I'm gonna put that in the bottle and drink it. Good God, Roper clacks. At your service, milady. What may I do for... Wait. I know you. Where do I know you from? April. April Ryan. Oh, uh, well... How lovely to see you. Say what? It's been too long, my dear. Too long. Uh, yeah. I guess it's been... long. What have you been up to? This and that. How a little resistance. A Me? Little I'm refugee. rehabilitated. Rehabilitated? I need to know. Rehabilitated? That. How so? Being soundly walloped by you was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? Oh, yes. It gave me perspective, time to think. Ah, oh, they gave you the white card. When I finally didn't they? escaped that confounding device, I joined WWWA. Uh... Wicked Witches and Warlocks Anonymous. It's a marvelous support group for wizarding professionals. <laughs> oh. Who it helped tremendously to find others who shared my. Uh, Affliction. You mean being crazy? Affliction? A desire for evil deeds and world domination, your basic, um, EDWD syndrome. <laughs> I see. Nice. And now? Cured! I'm free of my desire to conquer and control, and I'm happy to be a simple merchant and published author. I guess that's a... Well, I, I would be a happier man if you could it is. speed it this is along. Indeed. So, April Ryan, well, is that I'll just do it for him. Alright, I have to cut it once again, so one moment.